another edition of Exposing False Teachers, False Prophet, and Every False Worker There Is. Today we got this guy that names himself God Logic. Can you imagine such blasphemy? Apologi uh, uh, of course, we got to have apologetics. Let's look up apologetics to see if that's in the Word of God. Okay, let's look up apologetics. Okay, we got no results. I don't know why somebody would call themselves that's not in the Word of God. But I guess all Trinitarians do. They call themselves Trinitarians even though it's not even in the Word of God. So, I mean, you know they're going to add on to the Word of God. Do you know when you add on to the Word of God, you're worse? That's, that's just the same as taken away. I call him Mr. Cocky and Arrogant himself. Oh, I love these little uh, arrogant children. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 they think they're so smart. They think they're so educated. You know, one guy going to have books in his background. Oh, look how smart I am. Look at all the books. You, you know when you, you know you need to run for the hills when you see somebody that got a, in the background books trying to show how smart they are. But I had a appointment, a God appointed appointment. I call these things. Somebody sent me this link, and for some reason, God was leading me to this man. And finally, I got on to talk to this young kid. I believe he's 29 years old, from what he said. We're gonna learn about that in here. But uh, man, let me tell you something. Don't get prideful like this, man. Uh, it start hanging around Sam Shamoon. Can you imagine hanging around Sam Shamoon and thinking that he's he's right? I mean, he got Sam Shamoon. I mean, he's got one of the most devilous mouths I ever heard, Sam Shamoon. In fact, I'm going to show you the. In fact, we exposed Sammy. So check it out. Make sure you check it out. Man, it's already at 1,800 views, man. We get a lot of people following this. This man <laughs> worships the Mary, uh, tells people they need to die and they need to go... <laughs> They need to go to hell and calls them trash, uh, calls them all kinds of curse words, praise to Mary. I mean, he's a Catholic. I mean, come on. And this guy getting along with him. You know what I'm saying? Christians. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it, man. But you are who you hang out with. And he hang out with a bunch of fools. And you're going to learn this, too. A lot of immature kids, too, I had to put up with. I mean, sometimes I just want to give these kids whoopings. I mean, that's what they need. They need good whoopings when they were young. And I'm talking about your know, spankings from their daddy. You know what I'm saying? And if their parents couldn't do it, man, I ain't got no problem uh, 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 whooping these children. You know what I'm saying? Because they need it. I mean, their disrespect. I mean, we're in the generation of devils in these last days. And we're going to go into all of it. But check out part one and part two of Sammy Shamoon being exposed. In fact, we had a debate. He told me my mother should have swallowed. Can you imagine such an evil person? And yet, this dude doing lives with him. As, this is his teacher. <laughs> you know, you would think by their mouths you would know who they are. But in all actuality, these people, with the, more, the more disrespectful they are, and the more slandering they are, the more reviling that they are, the more curse words that they are, they follow the false teacher. I mean, it just shows you what type of times we living in. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And we living in those days where they're calling evil good. They're calling evil. This dude's right here as evil as it could be. Beats his wife. Uh, 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 what, what else he does? I mean, he's just, a, he's just a fool. He called somebody a crackhead the other day. I mean, this guy's a fool. And anybody that follows this person's on the way to hell. He don't know nothing. <laughs> I've debated this fool. He don't know nothing. And when we was challenged on his one guard... Uh, uh, being one God is showing him the scriptures. He ran. So now that we set the record straight, because I didn't know Sneeko and him were attacking me saying I backed out from Uthman. I've never backed out. I'm not going to help Nick Fuentes, who bitched out because he wants men to fight his battles. You filthy Fuentes, who bitched out because he wants men to fight his battles. You filthy son of the devil, you piece of garbage. I mean, really? Really? I mean, anytime you could bring that fool on as your, as your teacher, something wrong with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Again, you are who you hang out with. I don't hang out with fools like Sam Shamoon or Chris LaSala 
and I hope a couple of other fools, it, 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 you know, that they just can't speak to people and have a normal conversation. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they, they try to get the upper hand. They want to, they're so insecure about themselves. They want to feel like they're so intelligent and so smart and so, oh, look at me, I'm biblical, you know. <laughs> but these guys are amateurs, to be honest with you, brother. They, I mean, this guy prays to Mary on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, how foolish could you be? But here we got the debate, y'all. Uh, a God appointed appointment. Here I am coming to warn him there is no Trinity. And that, you know, it, it, and it's sad because he trying, he going against the Muslims. And they have their own Trinity and he don't even know that. Uh, 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 they with him. And it came from the Catholics, ladies and gentlemen. Trinity never came from the word of God. One God, three people is a lying statement that these people believe. And they lower the value of Jesus Christ being God. Anybody that can confess Jesus Christ is God, but can't confess that he's God the Father, is something wrong with him, even though he's the creator. And we're going to learn, we're going to get all into it, uh, uh, and we're going to catch every one of these lies, and we're going to expose it with the word of God. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we have... Um... And I just want to say I apologize for the immaturity of these kids uh, uh, because they, they, I mean, there are some, they, uh, again, their parents should have whooped them because uh, uh, obviously they, <laughs> they didn't knock this out uh, of them. And if you're too immature to even discuss uh, certain topics and you got to go into slandering and going into your own other thing because you're trying to look, trying to win a debate, trying to look cool in front of your friends, uh, you need to stop doing this stuff, bro. God's always watching. And God, woo, let me tell you something. God ain't going to play. God going to lower that pride. Let me tell you something about the young kids. Let me show you. Talking about bishops, talking about being a pastor, talking about being a preacher of God's word. And 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6 says, not a novice. You can't be a novice. I'm pretty sure none of these people know the Old Testament. Oh, they, they know more Greek than they know uh, the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? Not a novice. Less being lifted up with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. So you can't be a novice like these gentlemen here. All right. Uh, because you're going to fall into pride like they all have. They all believe in their head. They are right. I've been doing this almost 20 years. Some, some, some of these people, I'm, uh, I've been doing this longer than they've been alive. And yet these kids think they, all, they have it all figured out. I remember when I was young and dumb. I thought I knew it all. But in all actuality, I knew nothing. So be careful, young people. Don't be like these people. Don't be immature. Don't be prideful. Thinking you got it all, you got it all figured out. You still got much to learn. I knew learn new things every single day. Every single day when it comes to the word of God. And I done read the scripture a hundred times almost. Some of these, some of these things that they bring it up. Why am I echoing? Who is that? Is that you, Hunter? Uh no. It should be fine. You usually your mic is usually fine even when it's open. So oh, we'll, we'll yeah, I don't know who who's calling my mic. Well, it's fine now. It's fine. So I guess it was uh I think it was Hunter. Uh, we have Kurt Lowe That's um, on the chat. up here. How you doing, man? Bless. What's going on, brother? All right, all right. That voice sounds familiar. You was on JP stream. Yes, sir. You know, I get tired of people trying to act like they don't know who I am. I mean, I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I didn't know about this guy till, till a little while ago myself. But in general, uh, brother, <laughs> you heard my voice. You know, you see me before. You knew where I was at. Stop acting like you don't know who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know who you are, but you know who I am. Okay, so you're a oneness modalist, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Anytime they try to tell you you're a oneness or modalist, Deny that crap immediately. You ain't no oneness because you believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. There's only one God. In fact, modestless means one God, but it's a religion that was started in the 1900s. Let me show you. This is where they try to put you in a box, right? Uh, uh, Jesus only. Uh, yeah, of course, God, one God, it's got to be someone. What's his name? Jesus Christ. But Apostolics and Pentecostal was a movement that started... I believe in the 1900s, right? Uh, never came from um, the Word of God. Uh, so anybody that puts you in this, and I'm not one. I'm not oneness. I'm not Pentecostal. I'm not apostolic. 
All this stuff is religious foolishness. And do you know the real reason why they bring this up? It's because the Trinity has a beginning. It started in the second and third century by some Tertullian that was of the Roman Empire, the Catholics. That's why they called him Father. And nobody believed in his doctrine. Let me show you. Here it is. Just Google where did the Trinity start? The first defense of the doctrine of the Trinity was in the early third century by the early church father, Tertullian. He explained to find that the Trinity, <laughs> Trinity, uh, these three, I mean, look at that idolatry up top. Trinity as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They really believe there's three gods in heaven, even though they won't tell you that. Uh, as, well, you can catch some of them. Some of them will tell you that. You know, it, it, it's real cool to catch them in it. Because they, uh, and you're going to learn how we, uh, uh, we, we expose them. Uh, because you need to know what they believe in order to expose them. Uh, because they're very slick at keeping things on the down low. They don't answer questions. Why? Because they know it's wrong. Trinity as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and defended it, his theology. Notice what, you know, that's what apologetics and theology and, and ideology and all the other stuff is. The study of church fathers and the study of church and the study of religion. Who cares? Uh, theology against praxis. Though he noted that the majority of the believers in his day found issue with his doctrine. With his doctrine. So this is his doctrine. Tertullian made up your little trinity that, uh, that never, they never told you. It came from the Catholics and has now infiltrated the Christian churches. And now got you believing a lie that there is one God and three people. And not only that, you're telling people that Jesus is not the Father, Father God. You're telling people that Jesus is not the Holy Ghost, which is all blasphemy. If Jesus is the whole is holy, if Jesus is a spirit, guess what? He's the Holy Spirit. All right. And if Jesus is was the creator, he's got to be your father. I mean, this is I mean, this is crazy how these people are teaching and they learn this stuff from a man. Can you imagine being in such a delusion? You know, I'm so sick of Trinitarians, man, to be honest with you. These are some of the most corrupt, lukewarm Christians there is. Look up top. This is what they believe. They believe that the Father, look up, up top to the left. This is what the, the Catholics is. The Trinity is a triangle, uh, which is a spell from hell. It's called Earth, Wind, and Fire. Look it up. That's why there's triangles on every logo uh, when it comes to business. Or if it ain't there, there's hidden uh, 666 on there. Or there's hidden eye symbols on there. All right. All witchcraft to get you to buy their product. So it says right here, the father is God, right? The son is God. <laughs> so if the son is God and the father is God, well, guess what? <laughs> they're both God. And if you say they're not God, if you say they're not God, and you say the father is not the son, what you're saying is that the father is not God. And what you're saying is this, uh, the son, Jesus, is not God. It's, it's cool. Look what they say. And the Holy Spirit is not the son. And the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Is not the Father God uh, a holy and he's a spirit? John 4, 24 says God is a spirit. And God, it says that God is holy. I mean, and they, was, and they would sit there and blaspheme it. The Father is not the Holy Spirit. Then what is he then? I mean, they make three people right here. Three people. Look what, I, look what the right way it should be. Cross out the knots because they're, they're all one. They're not three. Those are just titles, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But there's a name to those titles, and that name is Jesus. We learned that in the New Testament when Thomas said, My Lord and my God. The Father is the Son. The Father is Jesus. The Father is the Holy Spirit. They are not three separate people. What have we been taught? You will never, you will never find a Holy Scripture that says, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are separate. They are three people. I mean, that's foolish. They bring up 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. Let's, look, let's bring that up just to show you the oneness Pentecostal movement first merged in North America. Oneness Pentecostal, that's what it represents, Pentecostal. I'm not Pentecostal. You're not Pentecostal. Don't let them, uh, uh, in fact, this was uh, uh, something that uh, 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 Jesus being God came from the beginning comes from the word of God it doesn't come from Pentecostal
Here's the go-to uh, uh, doctrine for the Trinity. I mean, they go to this one every time, and they don't even understand what they're reading. But let's break it down, right? For there are three that bear record in heaven. So that automatically means there's three people now, right? Not the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Now, I remember Jesus Christ being called the everlasting Father in Isaiah 9, 6. And we can go to that right there. I remember Jesus being called the Word. And I remember Jesus Christ being called the Holy, Holy Ghost, which these fools are going to mock. And these three are one. These three titles are one. Not three in one. If it said three, these three in one, I would believe the Trinity now. But it says these three, these three titles are one. Many will say, oh, this is the son right here. You know, <laughs> it's the father. The father and the word is the same thing. God spoke things into existence. The word of God in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Yes, God spoke things into existence. All right. So the word was with God. Not that there's two gods. There's Jesus sitting next to him or Jesus sitting right next to him. You know, you can never get these fools to admit that they believe in two gods, you know, because they know it goes against scripture, even though that's what they really believe. They think that God is talking to God. Can you imagine this? I mean, these are people that should not be teaching nothing. Lying on God. They're going to burn in hell for lying. Jesus said, if, if they don't believe in what, uh, uh, let me go to it. He, ye shall die in your sins. Well, let's see what God said in the Old Testament. Who the I am he. Isaiah 41, 4, who have done wrong, who have worked and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? Here, God asking a question. I, the Lord, who is the Lord? The Lord Jesus Christ, the first and with the last. I am he. I am he. What did Jesus say? For if you believe not that I am he, God Almighty Father, ye shall die in your sins. The Son of God means God manifested in the flesh. Controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. You know, I know a God that can humble people. I'm telling you what. Mystery of godliness. So this is a mystery. God was manifested in the flesh. That's why we call Jesus the Father. Because God dwells in the body of Christ. In order to see the Father God, you got to go through Jesus. Oh, I'll get fired up talking about God. So, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father. Well, let's see what Jesus Christ called himself. All right, let's just see what Jesus said. Look what Jesus says. John 5, 43. I am come in my father's name and you receive me not. So who is the name of the father? It's Jesus Christ. If he claims to come in the father's name. But don't just take my word for that. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, this Jesus Christ, the Son of God, shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. I had a fool the other day try to tell me he's God, the a Father, but he's not God, the Everlasting Father. No, he, no, he said he's God, the Everlasting Father, but he's not the almighty God, Father, everlasting. <laughs> I mean, these people, man, will go at least to lie on Jesus. I mean, you know it's the Antichrist spirit. You know, I try uh, my best to uh, think good of people. And, 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 you know, 
uh, at the same time, man, you know, you can't let false doctrines go through. And you need to humble these kids. We need to start letting these kids get away with these lies that they're learning from these snakes in the grass. My whole objective with this debate, and we're going to get into it very, very soon, was to pull the snake out of the grass. The teacher of the, you know, the, 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 the head of the snake out. Not worried about these kids. I want their teacher. I want their person that they're learning from. Bring that snake out. You know, they can play the little mean girl game where you, oh, let's gang up on them. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're cooler. Look at us, you know, the cool guys, you know, the young Thundercats. You know, I don't care nothing about none of that stuff. I, I will go one on 100. Okay, I'll be like Elijah going against 450 of the false prophets of Baal uh, from Jezebel. But Jesus said, John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. So if Jesus is the truth, he got to be God. And the life, no man come unto the Father but by me. Why did Jesus say no man come unto the Father but by me? Because he is the everlasting Father. The Father dwells in him. And if the Father dwells in him and God dwells in him, guess what? Before Abraham was, I am. That's why he claimed to be the great I am. Man, these people are, are, are still at level one. These people are going to tell you there's a trinity. They're going to tell you that Jesus is not the Holy Spirit. They're two people. I mean, this is foolish. And they ain't got a scripture to back up none of that stuff. None of that stuff. But let's keep going. Let's show you where Jesus claimed to be the father. Because we said, and, and the three that bear record, the father which is Jesus, as he says right here in John 14, 7, if you had known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. So here's God saying, not only do you see the father, me, not in flesh, but what dwells in Jesus. Not only do you see him, but you know him because I'm talking to you. And yet these people will claim that Jesus is God. But in all actuality, Trinitarians don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. Y'all understand that, right? Because if you ask them, is he Father God, they deny that. And they make two gods. But not, not missing the, the Holy Spirit, which is three gods when there's only one spirit. They'll actually say that there's three different spirits. God the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and Jesus Christ Spirit. When there's only one spirit when it comes to the uh, God. It's not like God's in heaven, right? The spirit of God is in heaven. Well, the spirit of God can be in Jesus and be next to me and in me uh, 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 at the same time. You know, and they say, well, that's three right there. You fool. And watch these people. And let me make this very clear. Paul called them fools and Jesus called them fools, not calling them stupid. We anybody that believes in something that's not written is a fool. And we're not saying they're stupid or dumb. We're saying they're just a fool, silly. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. So there's people that, oh, you don't say fool. Uh, listen, Kurt going to say what Jesus said. He going to say what Apostle Paul said. Scripture says in Psalms 14, 1, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Are you telling me I can't call unbelievers uh, fools? Don't tell me that. These are, these are unbelievers. So, Father, we know that Jesus is the word. Let me show you that. John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So the word is God. The father is God. The Holy Spirit is God and the word was God. Well, let's see what the word is. John 1 14 and the word was made flesh. God was manifested in the flesh and dwelt among us god is a spirit don't get this miscon misconstrued here we breaking down everything when they come to god right now ladies and gentlemen listen up because not many people have this knowledge and they mock you for what god has shown you sad isn't it so we learn that the word and the father is Jesus, just like the Word and the Father and the Holy Ghost is God. Back to what we're talking about, 1 John 5, 7. 
There's three that bear record in heaven. They say it's three gods right here. The Father, the Word, these are titles, and the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Spirit of Christ, Spirit of God, however you want to call it. And these three are just one. Just one. <laughs> Let's show you where Jesus is, the Holy Ghost. Or should we save it? I think we're going to save it. The reason we're going to save it because they, we're going to talk about it in this whole debate. No such thing as... The nerve of him try to preach the word of God and he got idolatry up top. You know what I'm saying? He got Stephen Curry jersey up there and he got some, I don't know what the hell all that other stuff is right there. Why don't you put some scriptures on your wall there, God logic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, begging for money, man. Preaching the gospel. That's why he has his little birthday thing here. Where you from? I'm from California. but oh, Okay. Oh, I could, I could tell you from California. Look at that Steph Curry idolatry jersey up there. Steph Curry's of the devil. I want to make this very clear. I don't care what he believes. He was marching at the Black Lives Matter. He believed in homosexuality. He believed in all this. Uh, let me tell you what else he believes in. Uh, his wife, they are swingers, meaning they go chase after other women and bring them into the bed with them. And he got his jersey up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These people, you know, God changed me from the outward. One more time with the Steph Curry jersey up there idolatry let me make this very clear steph curry uh wife is a swinger they bring women into the thing steph curry believed in black lives matter uh which is a marxist group with a three lesbians that uh that practice witchcraft and don't believe and, and, and practice homosexuality and uh 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 there's some of the most evil people there is they hate the nuclear family of man and woman right and not only that uh, uh, he believes in homosexuality, Steph Curry. He promotes it. Uh, what's the other one? Transgenderism. They go marching in these things. You know, it's sad that these people, and he's got the thing up on the wall. Why don't you got some holy scriptures on your wall there, God logic? I mean, I wouldn't even name myself God. That's foolish. If you think I wasn't going to get on these guys, you got another thing coming. They didn't know who they was messing with. I got family that's from Arkansas and Minnesota and out south that way. And so I just, I always love a heavy, a heavy accent. They always laugh at my accent. You know, it's just my accent. What do you want me to do? You don't want me to go uh, 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 change my accent? Just like if I was in Australia, I'd be speaking Australian. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what in the world? I must commend you on uh, uh, going to the Muslims. I mean, I mean, I ain't making fun of him because he talked like he's white. You know, I, I, I mean, he's talking like he's I don't make fun of him for being that, looking that way. I mean, you couldn't come to the hood acting like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that, that's just, you know, I'm not here to make fun of his uh, uh, style and who he is. I mean, this is the way he probably was raised. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that takes bravery to do that. So, as a young man, I, I give you credit for that. But don't look at somebody like that or look at somebody that talks smart or the guy... The guy at the bottom with the books all in his thing, trying to look. Like, look at me those books I I read every day. Look how smart I am. My name is Hunter. You know, I could I could I could get on all these things. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, uh, you don't need to uh, worry about my speech and the way I talk. Just understand. Does Kurt back up what he says with the Holy Scriptures? You know, Scripture says, "Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their sin." People say, "Kurt, you're too loud." <laughs> Well, you busted, you, bust, you would have hated Jesus and Apostle Paul because they not only were rude in speech, but they went around calling people devils all the time. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. But I don't it. get credit for hanging out with, with Sam Shimon. I, I mean, that's a I, I, I commend you, soldier. I commend you, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Here, here we got little John over here. Here we got little John over here. Still, 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 uh, 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 mocking people, mocking others. You know, and, and God tells you not to do that. You know, let me show you. As the scripture says, Proverbs fifteen twelve, Solomon, who had all the knowledge and wisdom, a scorner, a mocker, loveth not one that reprove him. Neither will he go unto the wise. So, uh, a, a mocker is something that is just awful, bro. They ain't, they ain't listening to what you're saying. They, they don't listen, they don't hear it, but again, it's not for them. I'm not here for them. It's about 
showing the follower that man we could just convert one back to what god said get out of this trinity we win that person moves up a step he over here converting muslims to jesus christ no they not because they ain't turning from all they sins <laughs> you know what i'm saying so they ain't of jesus christ yeah i mean they believe in your trinity that's what you're converting them to they was in trinity with the muslims and now they're in the trinity with the catholics uh, uh what you teaching but look what God says in the last days. 2 Peter chapter 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, scoffers, mockers, walking after their own lust. Walking after their own lust. Isaiah 57 4. Against whom do you sport yourself? Play yourself. They play people, they amuse, they try to make you into an amusement of themselves. And, and, it's, and it's sad that these people are over there trying to teach and expose things when they need to be exposed themselves. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Amuse yourselves. God laughs at a joker. This stuff is crazy. Laughs at them, knowing that their day is coming. Making fun of others, the way they talk, thinking that you're you're so and, 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 and mocking the Holy Ghost. You're gonna learn. Watch them mock the Holy Ghost. Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not the children of transgression, the children of sin? And if you're the children of sin, you're the children of the devil, a seed of falsehood. But again, you can expect this with children. You can expect this type of behavior with children. They just need to grow up. But let's get into this debate. You know, New, York, New York accent mixed with a Houston accent. So. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Pavan Sin says, Avery, I love you. I enjoy your channel. God bless you guys. God bless you. All right. So, so Kurt Lowe, so you over here begging for money. It's his birthday, so he's over here begging for money. Send me some money. I'm gonna go live. You um. You said there's no such thing as a oneness modalist. That's correct. Uh, That's a religion that came out in the 1900s. Right. And so you're saying that your your theology is orthodox. Orthodox comes from a branch of... <laughs> orthodox? What is he talking about? You can't just be a Bible. You can't just be a Word of God believer, huh? You just can't believe what God's Word said. You got to be put into a religion. You got to be put into all this other stuff. And this is why we have divisions in the church. Because the devil's putting us in this, this there, and piss that. You know what the sad part of it is? Is that these people are getting along with people that are not right with God. Or have a different doctrine. And they're coming together. And that's how they're going to accept the Antichrist, right? The man of sin. Because they're all going to have different doctrines. God said we got to be on the same mind and same judgment. Especially those with the Holy Ghost. If we got the Holy Ghost and we disagree, something ain't right. Somebody wrong. Somebody ain't got the Holy Ghost. Catholic. Again, just, just uh, you, you're gonna have to put up with these fools. All right, it's, I, I can't stop them from laughing. Jesus, I can't stop them from mocking. My buddy Black Doctor should know you very well. It's the accent, bro. It's, <laughs> it's the accent that's doing it for me. Are you laughing at the way I talk and making fun of me? No, not making no. fun of you. It's just, Never. oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, the uh, with the accent. Way you talk. With the accent, bro. No, look, I got family that talk just like you, bro. That's why it's okay, like it reminds man. me of my family, my cousins and stuff. Just not used to the country accent. I got it. I love the country accent, bro. I love so, it. Right. I love it. It makes me feel at home. So you believe in right. Trinity, huh? There's no such thing as the Trinity. I ain't got no time to be playing around with these people. Let's just get to the point. Trinity, bro. You only believe in God. Is that? What's he run at? Because he just lied. I love the country accent, bro. I love so, it. Right. I love it. It makes me feel at home. So you believe in right. Trinity, huh? There's no such thing as the Trinity, bro. You only believe in God. Uh, he's mocking me there. But at the same time, he's lying. And let's say, uh, let's show you where God feels about lying. And if they lied right there, I wonder what else lies they telling, right? Behind closed doors. Jesus said, your father is the devil if you're a liar. John 8, 44. And this is why you need to get away from trying to do all your little jokes and little stuff like that and, and, and mimicking God. 
uh, of trying to be a jokester. In fact, I'm going to show you where God condemns that behavior. John 8, 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, like the Trinitarians, like the Muslims, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons. They all believe in the same thing. Jesus Christ is not Father God. And abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speak a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So now we establish that this brother's uh, father is the devil. And you're going to see more of his, uh, the devil coming out of him. Watch this. Ephesians 5, 3. But fornication and all uncleanness and or covenants, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. So we turn from our sins and we live holy for God. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 4. Neither foolishness, nor foolish talking, nor gesturing, gesturing, which are not convenient, but rather given of thanks. You're saying, Kirk, well, I can't, well, you're saying I can't joke no more? If it's a lie, no, you should never be joking. Ape saint talking about April fools, joking around. That's a, you can God say all liars go to hell. You're falling for the devil's tricks. This is what he just did. Let's keep going. Hey, are, are you telling me a lie, or are you, is, that, is that what you stand on? Would you call me a No, what? You don't believe in the truth? See, he wasn't thinking I was going to catch him on that. <laughs> you got another thing coming. Don't be telling lies out here. Go say them lies for somebody else. Go play them little games with your little friends. He said, I'm uh, telling you a truth, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my joke! Here we go. The wild monkeys. <laughs> we yeah, can't be I mean, stealing I, jokes around here. I rock with the Trinity, man. I rock right. with the Trinity. You walk with uh, you rock with oneness. I oneness, right? One God being Jesus Christ. You walk with what? One God, and his name is Jesus Christ. I rock with one God too. <laughs> uh, the statement is the Trinity: one God, three people. It's a clear contradictional statement. One God, three people. Now, again, they're going to over talk me. They're going to do, you know, they just don't want the truth to come out. They want me to shut up and they want them to talk and all this other stuff. And they want you to follow you down this rabbit hole. Kirk, don't do all that. I ain't got time for it. And I'm a, and you're not going to push me or, or get me to go down that. I, it's not my first debate, young man. No, <laughs> you got the Trinity. You got no, the Trinity. Go. one. No, it's one. No, it's one God, three people, <laughs> and that's uh. uh so that's so how many, how many gods is that? That's one God. You just said it. No, that's just one God. God. That's what you believe. That's a contradiction. See, one God, three people. He's trying to think that you got be, but he got the other statement. What I said, one God, three people. That's what they believe in. Three people, three. If it's three people, it can't be one God. I mean, this is just common sense, y'all. Statement. One God, three. If, if this was a if this was a video, Avery, you could have just rolled that back. Rolled that. <laughs> Oh, oh you, you can see me everywhere, brother Luke. If you yeah, need, he's, 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 he's all, all over the right. place, man. He's all over the place. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I believe in the Trinity. You believe in in oneness. You believe that again. Put you in the box. Oneness. We are not modalist motors. He lied on me again. That's the second lie. You Jesus keep saying I believe is, in oneness. That's a lie on me. <laughs> it's not a lie. One. Do you believe that Jesus is the Father? Yeah, yeah, one God. See. They even admit to you that Jesus Christ is not Father God. Even though I just showed you the scriptures where Jesus called himself Father God, said he comes in the name of the Father. And not only that, uh, he has manifested thy name. He manifested the uh, Father God's name. And not only that, he is called the everlasting Father in Isaiah 9, 6. Jesus said, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And yet they will deny these verses, y'all. Antichrist spirit. Uh, if God, if you believe, God, it got to be God the you, Father. Do you believe that the Father? That's the that's the thing right there. If you believe that Jesus Christ is God, you got to believe He's God the Father. I mean, how many gods is there? Two, three? How many? How many lords is there? Two or three? No, just one. One Lord, one God, and His name is the Lord Jesus Christ. This ain't hard to understand. I mean, all you gotta do is get in the Holy Scriptures. Is the Holy Spirit? Yeah. You believe okay. Jesus is the Father? Mark Jesus. Do you believe that Jesus is the Father? Yeah, yeah, one God. If, God, if he's believe, God, it got to be God you, the Father. Do you believe that the Father is the Holy Spirit? Yeah. You believe okay. Jesus is the Holy Spirit? Yes. 
That's the one that's modalism, man. Okay. Do you see how the Trinitarians, they don't believe that Jesus Christ is Father God? You do see that they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. Even though I showed you. And as a matter of fact, let me show you where Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. So I don't want you to think I just made that up like these guys are trying to portray. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very important verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. Notice that the uh, it's uppercase. There's only one spirit. The Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, God's spirit, the spirit of Jesus Christ. They're all, it's just one spirit. It's just named different. Uh, now the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom. Now it says the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. The Lord is uh, 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 the Spirit of God. John 424, God is a spirit. Notice, notice again, it's uppercase. Letting you know what we're talking about. We're talking about God's spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit, notice it's lowercase here talking about a man. So your spirit and truth. So you got to worship him in your spirit and truth. Now let's see who the Lord is. Acts chapter 9 verse 5 and 6. And he said, who art thou Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am am jesus and the lord said here's apostle paul as saw it this time who art thou lord and the lord said i am jesus and the lord is that spirit now the lord jesus is that spirit and if you're still confused if jesus christ is lord don't worry, I got you. Lord just means God for all the uneducated people out there trying to make Lord into a different thing. Let me show you. Lord, 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 where are we at? What's it at? Right here. Here we go. So it's called, this is the definition for Lord, a name. Look, 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 look I had to show you. I didn't have to go to Greek to understand this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, anytime the Greek, the Hebrew, or anything changes the King James Version, because King James Version was put together by 52 of the best scholars in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Old Greek. And if they got it all wrong, it was off of their heads. They couldn't come up with a, a 52 people come up with different things. It was off of their heads. So they took it a little bit more serious when they translated it. So if the Greek tried to change the word of God from the King James Version, I don't even take it serious. So I want to make that very clear. The name of God. So this is what the Lord means. The name of God. Another title for God. Notice it says similar. God the Father. Uh, God the Father. Jehovah the Almighty. The, all, uh, the Supreme Being. The Deity. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Christ. Christ the Lord. The Messiah. The Savior. The Son of God. The Redeemer. The Lamb of God. The Prince of Peace. The King of Kings. Just the title of God. Just like King of Kings is a title for God. Or the great I Am is a title for God. Or the Father is just another title for God. Because why? He created all things. And yet right here it says that Jesus Christ created everybody. Wow. John 1, John 1, 9. And if he is the creator and people called him son, uh, he called them sons and daughters. And the people over there said, show us the Father. Have I been so long time with you, Philip, and has thou not known me? He that have seen me have seen the Father. And how is thou says, show us the Father? Mocking Philip. John 1, 9. That was the true light, which, notice the light is uppercase. Another title for God. All right? Because he is the light. Uh, just titles of God. And yet, the titles got a name. Jehovah is another one that the Jehovah's Witness lied to and say, oh, well, you know, it's, the name's just Jehovah. No. The name of Jehovah is Jesus Christ, the Almighty, which lighteth every man that cometh in the world. God is the light. John 1.10. He was in the world, Jesus. Jesus was in the world, and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. They didn't know Jesus, even though he what was in the world, and the world was made by him. That would mean that Jesus Christ is God. As the scriptures say, 
God manifested in the flesh. God in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5, 19, to wit that God was in Christ, was in Christ. The invisible spirit of God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, unto himself. God was reconciling man back to God. Jesus was the example of how to live in flesh. God, God was the example of how to live in flesh, took on flesh, walked this earth, showed us who he is, what's his name. All right, back to this foolish debate. But I love to expose these people right here because they need it. They need to be uh, humble. But that's what you say. <laughs> so Jesus what came. The Bible so Jesus came into the people when, uh, when, when, uh, when they got the Holy Spirit. That was Jesus. They went, Jesus went inside of. So Jesus <laughs> came. Bible so Jesus came into the people when, uh, when, when, uh, when they got the Holy Spirit. That was Jesus. They went, Jesus went inside of. Them. You can you imagine such a foolish, a, a foolish question? Did Jesus come inside of them? Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me show you. Look at it. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 11. If God is a spirit, Jesus Christ got to be a spirit, y'all. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 11. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ, which was in them, Look at that, which was in them, in them. Somebody send that to that fool there, Luke, Lukey. Send that to my buddy Luke. They said, oh, what do you think? They're mocking Jesus being inside of people. Can you imagine that? They're mocking the Holy Ghost. They're lowering Jesus. They're saying he's not Holy Spirit. The spirit of Christ, which was in them. I mean, they don't even believe that the Father is the Holy Spirit. I mean, <laughs> what? 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 They will. It will say, "The Lord our God and our Savior Jesus Christ," and they will say, "Oh, that. Wait a minute. That's that's three right there. Fools, <laughs> fools. And it's a conjunction word, meaning to be taken together, not separated. As he's going to try to do. Watch, they're going to separate the Holy Ghost." From Jesus and God. Watch this. Uh, but uh, just to show you again, this fool. Listen. You believe okay. Jesus is the Holy Spirit? Yes. That's oneness modalism, man. Okay, that's so, what you, so what, that's what you say. <laughs> so Jesus that's what came. The Bible says. So Jesus came into the people when, uh, when, when, uh, when they got the Holy Spirit. That was Jesus. They went, Jesus went inside of. Them. Can you imagine? And this dude thinks he's right. After we just read the scripture that contradicts what he says. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 11. What in the world is going on with the kids? Who is teaching these people? It ain't the Holy Ghost, that's for sure. But again, we're in the end times. There's going to be, God said there'll be many false teachers and we'll subdue them with devils of doctrine. The Trinity is a devil doctrine. Never came from the word of God. Never has. One people, three gods. What the? What the? One God, three peoples. What the? Come on, y'all. If they can't find what they believe in the Holy Scriptures, why do you believe it with them? Don't follow the crowd to hell, man. I believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty, our Savior, our Great I Am, uh, 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 the Father. The, uh, uh, the mighty God, Jehovah. If there's only one God, it, 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 who is your name of your God? My God is Jesus Christ. My Lord is Jesus Christ. My Savior is Jesus Christ. Yet the Antichrist spirit cannot confess that Jesus Christ is Father God. Matter of fact, just don't take people's word for it when they tell you Jesus Christ is God. Ask him, is he Father God? Ask him that. And see what they say. You'll find out if they have two gods or not. All the money these people are giving to it. I mean, this is the only reason why these people have streams like that. Sitting here begging for money. Hey, send me your money. Go get a job. Stop living off poor people.
anybody that makes money off God's word or the gospel or any of this stuff going to be held responsible on judgment day. Jesus nor Paul received no money for the gospel. Look, some fool would actually send these people $199. Look at his eye. Look at his eyes, boy. <laughs> boy that boy, that $200. I'm finna go out there and get me a lobster dinner. Off the word of God, y'all. You know you got to be under some spell from hell giving somebody that's telling you that Jesus Christ is not God. But these are what these people are all about. Money. They wouldn't have no YouTube channel. Some of these people, and y'all are sitting there following these people, uh, and, and these people buy followers on YouTube. They buy all this other stuff. I'm not saying his. I don't know what it is, but most of them, that's what they do. They just buy followers, so it puts them popular, and they get more popular, popular, popular. And you know what I'm saying? Why? To get your money. Why? They, you think they'd be doing the streams all the time like this? No. Donate here. Look at the PayPal. And if you miss me on PayPal, hey, look at Venmo. I got Venmo out there too. You can send me them, send me some more money over there in case you in case you want to tip me some more. These people are not of God. Jesus says, sell everything you have and to distribute to the poor, to the apostles. He didn't say go charge money and, and this and that. Go make sure you make sure you get that fee, that, that birthday fee. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, could y'all lend me some money over? Here? Come on, bro. We're talking about God. God said, give unto Caesars what Caesars for your taxes and give unto God what is God. And money ain't got nothing to do with God. Cannot serve God and mammon. Money. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 18. Let's see what Paul said. What is my reward then? Verily that truly that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge that I abuse not my power in the gospel. I ain't collected a dime off the word of God and I would never have a pay ash, a cap ash me, uh, whatever they are, Venmo's to send me some money. Hey, send me money. Now I might have it to send other people money, but I ain't, I ain't got no thing and I'm promoting it here. Send me some money. I'm preaching the gospel, begging out there. Go get yourself a job. Get your lazy butt up and go get a job. Let's keep going. When they got the Holy Spirit, that was Jesus. They went, Jesus went inside of them. You didn't know that Jesus Christ was the Holy Spirit? Oh, what? Lord have mercy. Yeah, so, I didn't know that. When he, when he's... <laughs> he, he's mocking it up there. Lord have mercy. After I just showed you the scripture that says that, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, 11. Let's go back to it again. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 11. Or what man of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did sink the fire being an indication of let you know that you got the holy ghost romans 8 9 but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit and if so be the spirit of god dwell in you notice the next verse now if any man have not the spirit of christ he is none of his in order to have the spirit of Christ, you got to have it dwelling in you, the spirit of God. In order to turn from sin, you got to have the spirit of God being born of the water and spirit. Again, what in the world is going on with these kids that think they can mock the uh, uh, Jesus Christ like that? Remember, they, they ain't mocking me. Uh, I didn't write none of this stuff. It ain't me that said <laughs> I'm only uh, telling you what God's word said. You know, they can play this little game and stuff like that with people that are biblically ignorant. I know what the word of God says. I know he lied right there. I know he contradicted himself. He shouldn't be preaching or teaching nothing. And the guy up there agreed with him because they're all best friends. Their little friends over there probably do all kinds of crazy stuff behind closed doors sinning. Yes, when he says that I will... I will ask the Father, and He will send you another help, another Comforter, another help. In my name. Yeah. What does the word "another" mean? Okay, let's go to that scripture, John four fourteen, verse twenty six. Uh -huh. I mean, I see some of you young no, no. kids trying to preach and teach the word verse, of God, and y'all don't know 16. nothing. Verse sixteen. You're right. I don't know nothing, man. I'm hey, hey, Avery, is this hey, is this severe? <laughs> Back to market. Say it right. It's like the, it's like an episode of the Mean Girls, like the episode of a Jersey Shore Entertainment. <laughs> but, the, but the Comforter, the Comforter, 
you severe. I mean, if y'all can make fun. No, no, you won't. You just show your, your, severe. your low character. No, no, brother. Look, there's there's an older gentleman we talked to. His name's Severe. He talked like this too. Say, man, oh, y'all, okay. y'all young bucks, y'all. Kids, man, kids. I don't know nothing, man. Y'all, y'all can't tell me nothing. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, like it, it's that. true. I mean, you, you know, I've never seen a generation of devils that re disrespect elders. You know, I'm old enough to be this kid's father. You know, uh, and and uh, I've lived life. I've been around. You know. Uh, uh, and you sit here and see this type of generation. If I ever would have disrespected my father, guess what? Or I disrespected his friends, or talked down to them, or 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 or, or back talked them. You know, my father would have slapped me in my face. My mother would have punished me. We don't talk. We was always taught to respect elders, but this generation has really lost it. The parents are not teaching the kids to respect their elders. They have no respect. They don't respect nothing nowadays. And this is sad that this is the generation of devils that's coming out. And you can just see it in the schools. The school system, they got no respect for nobody. You know? And again, this is a product of not whooping your children, ladies and gentlemen. But let me show you. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 1. Rebuke not an elder. But entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. All right, younger men. Rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. When you're over there mocking me, mocking this, mocking that. Guess what? That's Carl's sin, ladies and gentlemen. That's our next, that's our third sin we're going to count. Well, actually fourth sin. Sorry about that. He talked like this too. Say, man, y'all, oh, y'all young bucks, y'all don't know nothing, man. Y'all, y'all can't tell me nothing. <laughs> it's true. Kids think they know everything yet know nothing. Don't they, probably ain't never paid no bill yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't even know how to get a car. Don't even know how to uh, uh, work hard to get get a living. You know, they just living off YouTube. <laughs> you know, one ninety nine ninety nine. There, you know what I'm saying? Ain't never work. Ain't never work hard in their life for nothing. Oh, well, I mean, like it, it's Everything's given to them. I mean, you young kids just learning this stuff, and all of a sudden, y'all some experts. All of a sudden, these people that picked up the Bible last year, and all of a sudden, they're experts. They're pastors and preachers. What? Or they picked up in two years, or even a month. What? This takes long, man. Jesus didn't start preaching. He was 30, 33 years old. That's because they knew he had to be respected. He had to have some kind of age on him. All right? Got to have some kind of knowledge and wisdom. These kids have no wisdom and knowledge. And they're out here preaching. Let me show you where that's condemned with God. Don't be out here trying to preach and teach God's word and you don't even know the word of God. James 3.1, my brethren, be not many masters, be not many teachers, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Why are these people out here getting a, a, a preaching and teaching God's word and they don't even know that Jesus Christ is Father God or the Holy Spirit? You know God ain't with them. In fact, we prove that with the lies they're telling. Right? So here's another thing. Where they're in error. And not only that, black doctor's always in a hat. Look at the guy on the bottom with the hat with his all his little smart books trying to make trying to look like Smarty the Artie. Uh and then you got brother uh Lil John up there uh with his hat. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and his glasses on in the in in the in the nighttime, you know. You know, I see it, it, it wonder about these young kids, man. You know what I'm saying? But I was once a fool, too. You know what I'm saying? But let me show you where wearing a hat is condemned with God. Let me sh just show you another error. You're saying, Kurt, you just being legalistic. Listen, I could care less if a man had a hat on or not. It ain't my word. It ain't called the book of Kurt Lowe. This is Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7. This is God's way. Look what he says. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. This just tells me that they don't know the word of God for a man to put a hat on. He, they don't know the word of God. It's all signs I look for. All things I see with the idolatry on the wall. You got Steph Curry jersey up there, up there worshiping Steph Curry like some uh, uh, Baal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and the glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. So don't get mad at Kurt. I don't care if you wear a hat or not. What I care. If you want to be bald-headed woman, what I care. You want to have long hair as a man, which goes against God, 
What the hell do I care what you want to do? This is God's word. I'm just backing up with and standing up for what God said. I mean, you get mad at me all you want. What I care. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. What part of that we don't understand? Now, either they read it and just ignored it and just sent it. Or they just said, you know what? It, it, uh, it's... Uh, I just ain't I just ain't picked up the word of God today and read that. I must have missed that verse, you know. Well, then why are you preaching? Why are you trying to teach me as a young kid? They can sit there and mock me. And at the same time, and what I'm saying is biblical. And they're trying to push a narrative out to you. Hey, he don't know what he's talking about. Let's laugh at him. Let's make him feel foolish. Foolish. Let's make him feel like he doesn't know what he's talking about. And, 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 and we're just going to get away with it. No, you not. Kurt will expose your butt. In fact, I live for this. I live to break people's pride. I'm a pride breaker. Matter of fact, I'm going to put your name up there, God logic. Just like we uh, rebuke, uh, we expose black doctor up there, that uh, uh, Biggie Smalls up there, up top, top right. Because uh, 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 that's what I think that, that photo is. I don't know. Uh, uh but uh, 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 we're going to expose every single liar. And we're going to back everything we up with the Holy Scriptures. Listen, you're talking to the lion. You're not talking to the sheep. All right? The lion of Judah lies and dwells in me. And he made me bold. <laughs> and I'm always, let me tell you something. When I was back in my day, and I'm going to be very clear with this. I'm going to be very short. Nobody got the best of me. I knew how to hurt people with my voice. You best to be lucky. Kurt didn't change. Because man, I could I could I could say some things that y'all that y'all would have y'all bawling out crying laughing. I could have you over here uh 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 going back Kurt going back to his old ways. Uh uh uh, uh you know saying all kinds of things. And, I mean let me tell you something. Uh, it, it would be like somebody trying to rebuke a comedian. A way with words Kurt always had. And you're not going to get the best of me when it comes to that. In fact, we'll put you in your place. But Kurt has changed his life. Kurt ain't about hurting people with, the, uh, uh, with his words no more. And getting back at people. And making them look like buffoons. No. Kurt's about saving and winning souls now for the Lord. And now he's got to watch his tongue because in order for the Holy Spirit to dwell in me, that means my tongue and my spirit has to be uh, uh, on point. I got to be patient, even with young fools like this. You say, Kurt, why are you going into the to the light, uh, uh, to, to the darkness to, uh, to bring the light, to bring the light? That's what Jesus did. He went to the Pharisees, debated them nonstop. Paul went around different places, different kings. He went and rebuked John the Baptist. Went up to the door and knocked. Is it lawful to have thy brother's wife, John, uh, uh, King Herod? You took your brother's wife, Philip. No such thing as divorce or remarriage and was condemned for. It. So this is what it's all about. Whether we convert one away from these devils, we'll do it. But let me tell you something. A man that can't control his tongue. It's like a, 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 let me show you this. I read these verses. They stuck in my head. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Your mouth has power. Your, your mouth can cause somebody to commit suicide. Your mouth can cause tremendous pain in somebody. Not me. I mean, I could care less what you say. You know what I'm saying? I done heard it all. Uh, uh, there's nothing you're going to say to me that could eat. I mean, I'm going to sleep like a little baby at night. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to think nothing about you. In fact, I'm going to put probably put on some things and I'm going to go to sleep in my little, uh, 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 with my shirt off and everything else, sitting there uh, uh, relaxing in the air conditioner. I mean, with my, with my hair flying out and my doggy next to my side, and I'm just, uh, we hugging each other. Ain't, ain't, <laughs> Ain't nothing about me uh, uh, worried about what you say. Well, you might hurt the wrong person. The one person that ain't strong like me. And you kids ain't strong. 
I see a bunch of weakness in y'all. Everyone in there is weak. I could hurt them immediately with my tongue. I could say all kinds of things that could get. I mean, a lot of. I mean, Kurt. To be honest with you, I got. I got to be uh, stronger. I got to be a a, a a hold of it. I got to take three steps back because you know when I hear kids disrespecting elders, even even myself, I want to act on. Them. I want to put them in their place, but I can't do that. I can't. Can't. I got to take steps back, man. You know. And this is one of the uh, uh, the the fruit of the uh, of the Holy Spirit to be able to control yourself, to be able to control your tongue, man. That's something. That's something. God is definitely working in your life if He can control your tongue like that. Proverbs twenty five twenty eight. He that have no rule over his spirit, if you can't even rule your spirit, is like a city that is broken down and without wall. So nothing they saying is going to get to me. Nothing they're mocking is not going to get to me. I'm not going to act out of character. Nobody don't let nobody ever uh try to use your try to use emotions to drag uh evil out of you, to drive uh to uh to push things from you. Like to 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 nobody should be able to control you by what they say. All right? Make that very very clear to you. There's nothing anybody can say to me. That is going to get me to act out of character. He has no idea who he's talking to. He has yep. no idea who you know you're talking. You know you're talking to Hunter, right? No, no, no. I ain't nobody. I'm just saying. These people trying to act like they're not prideful, but they're definitely prideful. Everything they're saying is prideful. Their actions are showing pride. The way they're talking, like I don't know what I'm talking about, and they have everything figured out. They don't know nothing. They're just learning this. And they learned it from some biblical school that taught them this stuff. Theology or some teacher they probably watched on YouTube that's a false teacher. The black I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm somebody, but I'm saying that y'all got to get in the word of God before y'all can start teaching. We in the word, brother. We in the word. None of these people know nothing about the Old Testament. And they don't sure don't know nothing about the word of God. I could just, I mean, I brought up scriptures to you to show you where they're in errors. They need to learn before they can teach. All right. They need to. They need to save themselves before they can help others. We right here. Yeah, but not not a year or all of a sudden you're pastors. You know what I'm saying? I, w I wouldn't even take a man seriously if he wasn't over who, thirty who years calls, old. Who calls? Who calls Avery a pastor? Wait, but Avery's not thirty yet. I'm a shake. All right. So we're in John you chapter fourteen, verse twenty-six, young man. Wait, wait, I'm wait. Hold, hold <laughs> on. Here come old black Doctor Biggie Smalls up there. He 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 got a problem. Look at. He hate. I'm telling you, he hates me with a passion. Uh, but we, we, I'm gonna show you his lies too. So uh, just stay, stay with me. They just made these claims and then get away with it. Who calls Avery a pastor? Who said I called him a pastor? You did. You did. Let's run that back. Let's see if I called him a pastor. Let's see. see I, I wouldn't even take lie. a man seriously. You, you know, when you're so angry with a man and you're so upset with the man, you a lie on him and bear a false witness. Because you just trying to do something to get uh, 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 destroy his character. Who calls, who calls Avery a pastor? In the word, brother, we in the word. We right here. Yeah, but not, not a year or two and all of a sudden you're pastors. You know what I'm saying? I, w I wouldn't even take a man seriously if he wasn't over who, 30 who years calls? old. Did, did you see me call Avery a pastor? I said these young kids thinking that they're pastors. I'm touching on the subject. And he think I'm talking about him because he ain't listening. He's just so angry with me. He's just trying to catch me or something. You know, I love these type of good. One thing about me, <laughs> everyone know this. Uh, I'm very careful in what I say. Who calls oh. Avery a pastor? Wait, but Avery's not 30 yet. I'm a shake. All right, so we're in John you chapter 14, verse 26, young man. Wait, wait, I'm wait, hold, hold <laughs> on. They man. just made these claims and then get away with it. Who calls Avery a pastor? Who said I called him a pastor? You did. You did. Oh, I said, why are you young kids? You said, I didn't say Avery. Don't try to put words in my mouth, you're, little you're, uh, black doctor. Time been, you did that before, time, we had to put you in your place. The whole time you've been calling us young kids, all of us up here. Yeah, yeah. young kids. All of y'all some young kids. Like we I'm, one, I'm, 30, I'm 365 days away from 30. Still a baby. All right. You said you were 306. Well, that's close. <laughs> well, that's right. Right. You know, you're you're I mean, 14,000 years old. No, I mean, never mind. That's how old you are? <laughs> wow. You're, you're the new Methuselah. Again. God said not to be jesters. So, no. so, so 
nothing in so that. Right. So, my friend. So, we're in John that's... chapter 14, verse 26. I'm, I'm about no, to. No, 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 no. This is an immature conversation. You know, I want to take off because I ain't got time for this, man. I really, you know, immature kids, it, 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 it's like nails on the chalkboard to me. You know what I'm saying? Grow up. You know, grow up. I mean, y'all, y'all kids, I mean, I understand you're young. Some of y'all, you know. But, man, I got, I know people that are 18, 19 years old and 16 years old that got more maturity than these kids. Oh, no, 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 but he had to mock it. Oh, and I, his young kid don't know that. As he got his hat on with his with his little smart books in the background. This is the this is the dude that's always in Greek. Watch this. It's gonna be funny. Let, let, let him present his case. We'll okay. see what he's got. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, verse sixteen. Jesus mock me again. Mock me the way I talk. Watch this. I mean, they're just mockers and scoffers in these last okay. days. Okay. <laughs> you know, lukewarm Christians are worse than unbelievers. They're worse than unbelievers if you don't agree what they agree in. You know, back when we were men in, in, in my day, you know, we, 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 we had a conversation. If somebody would have talked like that to me we, face to face, I would punch him straight forward in his neck. I would teach that kid a lesson to never talk that way to anybody. You know, the they, keyboard warriors, these kids now, they're on these, these YouTubes and these social media, think they can talk any way they want to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they, they can never be touched, you know, but again, my life has changed. I ain't about that no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I could take mocking and stuff like that. All the people I done bullied and beat up in my lifetime and got into fights and, and, and all this other stuff. I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? In, in all honesty, you know, so I can, uh, what I did, I can put up with in my, in, in my life. You know what I'm saying? So these type of people, they, they, they just mockers and, and, and again, he thinks he's of God. <laughs> he thinks he's of God in the way he's talking to other people. These young guys don't know anything, though. All right, let, <laughs> let, let him present his case. We'll okay. see what he's got. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, verse 16. You know, I could really hurt that kid feelings, man. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Team, Jesus says, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another help. He said, Kurt, be holding back. I will pray the Father. Say the same thing. No, just stay so, in the King James Version because you just messed that all up. Uh, I know you messed it all. You King James only too? And I will yes. praise the Father. That's what you need. What What are these people? And this is guy in NIV. Let me show you this. He, uh, he He's in the NIV, ESV, all these other ones that are so corrupt. Wait a hey. second. Don't forget the idolatry up top there and on that poster. Or the begging for money, nine ninety nine. dollars As from taking from his Instagram. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is God Logic. Notice what he's quoting the in <laughs> the International Standard Version. I mean, what? <laughs> High SV. I don't think I ever heard that one before. I thought he was using the NIV, ASV, all these crazy things. They're just corrupt. So he's quoting from a corrupt Bible. I had to correct him on that. Oneness, you're oneness, modalism, and King James only. Lied on me. One this Pentecostal thing. I ain't no one this Pentecostal for the. I think it might be the fourth, third or fourth time now, brother. Uh, uh, Avery, my young man. Man, let me tell you something. Let me let me explain something to you, young man. Oh, when I was, uh, <laughs> here they are mocking again. Here we go again. Trying to trying to stop trying to uh devalue what I'm saying. This is uh, it's, it's it's an easy tactic with these type of people. When I was first getting into it, where you're at right now, like like you know. Start getting into the Word of God. I asked God to show me what 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 Word of God I'm gonna stay in so I can be in the right one. And right, God right. led me to the King James version, and then He showed me all the errors of the other ones. He's laughing. He thinks he knows the Word of God. He doesn't know the Word of God. I'm showing him he doesn't know the Word of God. Like you just presented right there. So uh, just stay in the King James version. It came first. No, no, no. I, you know what? You know what? I, I don't mind using the King James version. Because um, I don't, I don't get into them so, all, all the other other ones. Let me make this very clear: the NIV, ESV it was all written off the King James version. All right, it came first when it came to the uh, translating it from uh, Spanish. I'm sorry, uh, uh, from the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, from Hebrew, Aramaic, and Old Greek, ancient Greek to Hebrew uh, to to English, and it was the first perfect word 
from uh, and was put together took seven years to compile and yet it's perfect and flawless and these people still will make fun of God's word King James Version has not changed it's been the same for the last uh, three four hundred years and it's the perfect word of God when you start going into these NIVs and ESVs and all these other ones these were put by corrupt men that changed the word of God on purpose do you know that it's gender neutral now where you know 85 percent is talking to a man and yet over here it will say ones or it'll say everyone when it says man or it'll take the homosexual parts out or it will uh uh it will have two gods uh meaning that jesus is god and, and the father's god and it will separate the two do you know that's what they do in these scriptures and they take out verses i mean there's almost fifty-five thousand words taken out changed and stuff like that verses just completely out of here let me show you let me just give you some examples here the niv was published by zondaville which is owned by uh, uh harper collins and you know uh or who also published the satanic bible look at the, the second part the niv and the esv has now removed sixty four thousand words and he's known for using these these things uh and they're all they're all wrong look at all the the things they take out uh from the niv to the esv let me show you some more here's some more y'all king james version while we stay in the king version. and again you can reach me at kurt lower 24 at instagram to check all this out because we i mean we we keep people educated man we want people to know the word of god we want people to know the truth but look at look at the things they take out you know it's horrible esv uh makes jesus lower than god look at that gender neutral as i was telling y'all niv look how look how corrupt this thing is makes lucifer the morning star I mean, all this stuff, that, that, I mean, they change verses. Look, you say, well, what about the new King James Version? Well, if you get over there, it's going to change it from by Jesus created all things. By everything was Jesus Christ made. Where it'll say through, through, through. All things were created through him. No, it was by him, making him God. That's a big difference between the word by and through. I and my father are one they try to change, right? All that stuff. God was manifested in the flesh. So, you know, these are things that they're taking out and changing. And they don't even know about it. I mean, again, these are kids. I don't expect them or somebody without the Holy Ghost. I mean, I don't even take somebody seriously that don't even stay in the King James Version. You know, it tells me right there that there's, there's, there's errors, you know. Any, and I don't, if I don't see anybody preaching on the King James Version, they're preaching these corrupt word of God as we're going through right now, I don't even take them serious, y'all. You know, there's not all these different words. So, you know, it's not the, you know, we have one word of God. That's all we need. We don't need 10,000 more of them. Or I need to go to old Greek like these guys are going to go to. Watch it. Satan. Look at this. Satan trying to make himself uh, available. He don't want to be called wicked. King James Version versus the New King James Version. Pay attention, y'all. Look what the counterfeit does. Calls Jesus a servant. Sad. Jesus ain't no servants. Jesus is God.